for a clean with me on Taking Down Christmas. If you haven't done that yet, put your hair up, put your apron on, and come clean with me on Taking Down Christmas. Hey guys, this is my one and done zone cleaning routine. So in case you missed Tuesday's video, you might want to go back and watch it to get a little update. So today I am working in zone three. Tuesday I did a home refresh and zone two all in one because it just needed it. So again, I need to do my daily chores, which is make the bed, touch up the bathroom, do the laundry, dishes, and counters, and straighten up the whole house and then weekly chores is mop dust and vacuum only in the zone that i'm working in and that is zone three which is the kitchen family room area so that is what i'm going to work on today and i'm going to be doing my zone extras which would be any deep cleaning but since it's christmas it will be taking down christmas for today and I thought I would try something new as far as taking down Christmas. I usually take it all down at the same time. And I'm going to do it by zone. So since I'm in zone 3, I'm going to only take Christmas down in zone 3. But first, I need to make my bed. Okay, and yesterday there was no zone cleaning, so I was supposed to just do my daily chores, but confession, that didn't get done because I had an unexpected visitor that came knocking at a door without calling first. That was my husband's, um, that was hubby's sister that came by and she ended up staying for four hours. Uh-huh, yeah, so <laughs> nothing got done because I had to run to Home Depot for something for a hobby and yada, yada, yada. But guess what? The house didn't really get that messed up. Well, one, because we had chilies for dinner, so the kitchen didn't get messed up, and that's the worst part of the house. I still need to put a garbage bag in that garbage. I have to remember to do that later. So the craft room has stayed straightened up. It still needs some tweaking overall, but uh, I'll get to it eventually. I'm actually hoping to do a craft room tour this month. Hopefully, cross fingers, I want to show you everything that is in all the drawers and stuff and give you a little craft room tour. Okay, so now I'm straightening up the house. And in zone two, which I did on Tuesday, is not even messy. So I just had to pick up that little fishy, which is Calvin's favorite toy. And then this little feather duster toy for the cat's. I always put it there so they can try to take it down and play with it. And I'm not taking down the cocoa bar. That will be when I do zone two next week. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. And laundry is on my daily chores, but actually, do you remember that one load of blankets that I was supposed to fold? <laughs> In the last video, yeah, they're still in the dryer. So there's that. And I'm just putting a few recyclables in the garage and that is a project for a Saturday. I don't know if we'll get to it this Saturday or not, but in the meantime, that's what doors are for. Okay, on to dishes and counters, and this is in my zone that I am doing today, which is zone three. So I will be doing any weekly chores, which I wrote down that it was mop, vacuum, and dust. But in the kitchen, there's some weekly chores that need to get done on a weekly basis. Like I need to pull up the mats off the floor and clean them and wash the cat dishes and scrub the sink really good and things like that. That's what I do on a weekly basis. Well, that's what I try to do. That's what I want to do. It doesn't always happen. So I picked up this pecan honey mustard sauce. It is really good. It's to dip your pretzels in. I don't know if you can find it where you shop, but 
I thought I would make a suggestion and uh, just tell you that I really like that. So I'm getting some lasagna out for hubby for lunch. Actually, it's a late lunch, early dinner. I made lasagna the other night and froze um, like three or four servings of it and put it in the freezer, which is working out good because I don't feel like cooking today. So cleaning out the microwave is another weekly chore and I'm going to clean the stove really good too. And sometimes I clean this um, tray, which I put all of my things I use on a daily basis, but it didn't really need it this week, so I just put it back. And I'm not quite gonna take down Christmas in the kitchen yet. I'm just really gonna concentrate on the tree today. So, but I am going to do an anti-procrastination chore, which is to reseason my frying pan, my iron skillet. Yeah, the paper plates, yeah we won't discuss that so <laughs> i'm cleaning up all of the cat food dishes and washing the all those and the trays and the mats that they're on I am pouring down my lemons and limes from my water from yesterday down the sink and down the garbage disposal and uh, I think I learned that from Christy at Inspired, Inspired Living with Christy. I believe I learned that from her so um, yeah you just put them in your garbage disposal and it freshens it up and you're good to go. Okay, I'm just going to take a water break and actually edit a portion of this video for you. That's what I do. I edit throughout the day and then it's not so hard to edit all at once. And now I am doing my weekly cleaning of the sink and I'm using the Bone Ami cleanser. It's like Comet, but it is more natural and it works pretty good. And sometimes I will do bleach in the sink too, but I don't really like to do that. But Sometimes it's necessary and I'm putting a little um, essential oils in the soap dispenser things and I'm just cleaning the refrigerator with some um, stainless steel cleaner and the dishwasher and the stove and the microwave. And the kitchen desk and the breakfast nook is part of this zone but I have a feeling I'm not going to get through the paperwork and the kitchen desk today that is for another day and I'm not going to put away this Christmas stuff it's actually kind of Valentine's -y. I might get rid of the ribbon and um, yeah I'm just again gonna concentrate on the tree but I am going to put away this runner and refresh this space and I mentioned in Tuesday's video that I decluttered this sideboard, so I will be posting that soon, hopefully this next week. And I'm just putting away the table runner. This is where I keep them because they don't fit in my hutch. And I was going to put away the snowman, but I'm like, oh, well, it's winter, so I can keep it out. <laughs> I'll do that um, at another time. I'm just going to go ahead and Get started on the tree, but first I'm going to take down this banner because that's not winter. That's, yeah, that's Christmas, so I'm going to take that down. Calvin is playing with them. So I need to get I need to 
get the um, tree out and see what ornaments I didn't ne didn't never put out. So um, yeah, so I have these that um, the girls and I made last year when they had to sleep over. Had snowmen and sleds. I have bells, some garlands, some um, animals, forest animals. And then this kind of goes over here. I think I've had those for years. And then these are all handmade ornaments. And these are all the pine cones that come from my yard every year. I have to spray them with um, snow because they disintegrate. And then my snowflakes. I thought I had more than that for snowflakes, but apparently I didn't. And then my star. So I, what I do is I bag it up by theme so I can, I don't know, put them on the tree just to take up the but the girls. Didn't really do that. So I'm gonna see what's left in the um, in the box. So I pack up all my stuff and I put the ornaments. They're not, see, there's not really anything breakable in there, like glass balls or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so um, I just put it in there between the branches. And then when I take the tree out, I can take it all out. I don't have to take another bin now and store. So it all fits. So I just put it in Ziploc bags and it's fine. And um, I do have another thing of garland, but I think I'm going to keep that out. I usually put that in the sideboard in case I want to use it for Valentine's Day. And this is going to stay out because um, Valentine's Day. I love this, and I'm just going to keep it out. And then the same goes for that. I talked about that in another video. That can be winter and Valentine's Day. And oh, I might, might go ahead and go ahead and keep the um, the pillow covers out too. Cause that doesn't have to go in the garage that go that the pillow covers will go in my linen closet and as a matter of fact when i check the link for this it says valentine valentine's pillow covers so that's interesting all right i gotta go get the tree out of the garage the box okay i think it's like maybe 445 or something so i am making again a, a late little lunch early dinner for hubby and i i'm having chili's leftover and hubby is having leftover lasagna and that's not wine that's juice <laughs> um we're not opposed to drinking wine we just don't so and that is some leftover um french bread or garlic bread for hubby and um we're upstairs in his man cave and just having um a little lunch dinner thing for New Year's Day, or New Year's Eve, rather. Cheers! To the New Year. <laughs> okay, guys, I didn't finish taking down the Christmas tree, but stay tuned. It's still going to be at the end of this video here. But my niece texted me, and she asked me if I wanted to come over for a family campfire. They were just hanging out for New Year's Eve and roasting marshmallows and cooking hot dogs. And the girls are over here painting their nails and it was fun. But I actually went home by 9.15, I believe it was. So next morning, here we go. Let's start again. So I am turning on all the fans because it is warm today. So I don't know if we're gonna need to turn the air on, but I'm turning on all the fans for sure. Try to finish this up since uh, I didn't finish it yesterday. So, um, these are all the stuff that didn't get put out. So, most of these are empty bags that I need to put stuff in. So, um, there's that. And then I got to decide if I'm going to keep this stuff. And what I do is I just put, uh, I just put the ornaments in a bag. And I like to categorize them so when I put them out then I can
spread them out on the tree evenly. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. got this corner cleaned up and put the trunk back where it goes and I am just sliding the Christmas tree into the laundry room and hopefully hubby will put it in the garage for me and these are the only things that I decluttered I thought I was gonna get rid of more so that's it I will put away the nativity and the rest of the stuff on the wall unit on another day and the couch needs to be moved over and the rug but I need hubby's help with that so I will do that later And again, this is Friday, so I still needed to do my daily chores again, and I straightened up the kitchen. And now I need to um, do the guest room, which, guess what? <laughs> Not happening. You'll see that later. And the guest bath, which I've been procrastinating. I am soaking this uh, runner that I had on top of that trunk. It was pretty nasty, dirty. Look at the water. It's gross. And then... I'm going to clean this bathroom because I actually use this bathroom to shower in so it needs a good cleaning because I don't know I've been preferring using this shower as opposed to our open shower I haven't been liking it especially with the cooler weather for sure it's too cold when you get out of the shower in the other bathroom so I'm gonna clean it out and Calvin likes to play in the tub and actually we don't use this tub but it gets dusty so I need to rinse it out every once in a while and I just threw a little ball bell thingy in there. He likes to jump in the tub when we're in there going to the bathroom. Don't ask me. He's a weird cat. See, I told you I was going to be too tired to clean that guest room. So it can happen later. So um, I need to clean my cleaning utility cart, which I got from Target. If you're interested, the link is down below. I love this thing. I just drag it around the house and then it has that um, extra caddy that I have on the top that I can take upstairs when I clean the upstairs. Okay, taking another water break and hubby made me some tuna salad. He was making a tuna fish sandwich and he asked me if I wanted a salad and I said, sure. I am loving him being on vacation. I cannot wait till he retires. It is so nice. He's been making me breakfast. Sometimes he makes me lunch and here I am mopping. Last thing to do. Let's get this done. Okay, just leaving the mop and the cleaning cart right here until hubby moves the tree into the garage so I can mop the laundry room and I'm seeing this little thing here needs to go in the laundry room we no longer use it that was for Callie to drink water from and she actually never drank water out of it so I don't know and the other kittens aren't interested so I'll give it away or something so I'm gonna take my massager and I'm going to go into my soundproof booth aka my guest room and I'm going to do a voiceover for this video Okay guys, next week I will be taking down the rest of Christmas, but I think I probably won't post it till the following week. I'm going to be doing a plan with me next week and um, some decluttering, so stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and click the bell icon and click all so you won't miss another video.
also plan on doing a year-end recap actually it's going to be 20 before 2020 and if you remember in 2018 i did an 18 before 2018 maybe you want to watch that video i'm going to po put it right here and you can click on it and see what that's all about and that's what this year's video is going to be until next time guys enjoy your day